My name is Sanjay Gupta, I'm a cardiologist in York. Uh, today's video is on the subject again of mast cell activation syndrome and treatments for mast cell activation syndrome. So uh, today's video is entitled Sodium Chromoglycate, a gentle ally in the fight against MCAS and POTS. Now you'll notice that I've got my hand down <laughs> And you'll also notice some panting in the background, and I'm really sorry for this, but that is Bluebell Gupta, who is uh, at the moment very scared because there's some fireworks going outside, going on outside, so she's terrified, so she's come in and joined us. Now, I tried to bring her up to my arms so that you could see her, but she was making a lot of noise, so she's sitting there and I'm trying to pat her and comfort her at the same time, so I can multitask, <laughs> but mast cells can multitask as well. Anyway, so today I want to talk about a quiet but powerful little medicine that doesn't often get the limelight, sodium chromoglycate. Sodium chromoglycate is not new or glamorous, but it is for many people living with mast cell activation syndrome and POTS, an unassuming lifeline. Let's start with the basics. Mast cell activation syndrome or MCAS is a condition in which mast cells those immune cells that are meant to protect us, start misfiring. They release chemicals like histamine, prostaglandins, leukotrienes, sometimes without any clear trigger. And the result is strange and shifting pattern of symptoms, flushing, hives, fatigue, nausea, bloating, brain fog, dizziness. And in many people with POTS, we see a strong overlap. So it is not unusual for someone with POTS to also experience symptoms that sound very allergic or inflammatory and for these symptoms to be just as disabling. Now, where does sodium chromoglycate come in? Sodium chromoglycate is a mast cell stabilizer. That means it helps to prevent mast cells from degranulating. In other words, from spilling out their inflammatory chemicals at the wrong time. What makes it special? is that it works at the level of prevention rather than trying to mop up the damage afterwards like antihistamines do. And it is particularly useful when the mast cell activation, mast cell activation is happening in the gut. So I'll talk a little bit about the gut and MCAS. Many people with MCAS or POTS struggle with digestive symptoms, abdominal bloating after meals, cramping, nausea, diarrhea, food intolerances. This may be due to mast cell, mast cell overactivation in the lining of the gut, creating local inflammation that impairs digestion and absorption. Sodium chromoglycate, when taken before meals, helps to settle that mast cell activity down, leading to better tolerance of food, more predictable digestion, and even less systemic flare-ups. Why do we talk about this in the same breath as POTS? Because for many people, POTS is not just a heart rate issue. It is a whole body disorder with symptoms triggered by things like eating, temperature, standing up or stress. And mast cells are often at the heart of this. When they flare, they release histamine and other mediators that cause vasodilatation, gut dysfunction, brain fog and, many, and much more. So calming mast cells, especially around the meals, can indirectly improve POT symptoms too. In terms of dosing and practical use, sodium chromoglycate is usually taken as a 100 to 200 milligram dose about 20 minutes before meals and sometimes at bedtime. It often needs a few weeks of consistent use to take full effect, but many patients report a reduction in gut symptoms, clearer thinking and less fatigue once stabilized. It's generally very well tolerated. It doesn't make you drowsy. It doesn't suppress your immune system. It simply nudges the mast cells towards peace. Now, is this a cure? No, but it's a tool. And sometimes that one gentle tool can make all the difference. It allows someone to eat without fear. It reduces the unpredictable waves of inflammation and it forms part of a gentler, more stabilized day. You know, sometimes in medicine, we overlook the quiet helpers. Chromoglycate doesn't make headlines. It's not fashionable, but it honors something important. The idea that suffering can be soothed, not with force, but with calm. And for those living with the invisible weight of POTS and MCAS, that calm can feel 
like a revolution. Take care, be gentle with yourselves. And if any of you have tried glycate, I would love to hear from you. Now, I'm going to introduce you to Blue Belgupta. So she is terrified, as you can hear. You can hear her panting because of these fireworks, but she, here she is. Hang on, Blue Belgupta, come, come and say hello. There she is. There she is. Oh, perfect. So she's going to cuddle up with Dad tonight, and hopefully we'll both keep each other safe. All the best. Take care. Blue Belgupta, say bye. Uh -oh.